last week I, I didn't do this, but this week we are, motherfuckers. We're doing conspiracy theories. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. I got a hot one for you, Paul. I got some okay, good takes here. Okay, what's this one? What's this you're one? You're going to sit down and you're going to listen. And you're going to believe everything I tell you. All oh, right. Yeah. I'm excited. Don't question it. I'm excited. Don't question it. All right. <clears throat> we're going to do, we're going to talk about a little bit about Operation High Jump, Project Iceworm, and Nazis in that, and, and Antarctica. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm fucked up. It's the it's the Nazis are fucking me up. They're jumbling my words. Anyway, in the 1920s, <clears throat> the Nazis first made contact with an ancient race of aliens who are also reptilians. Right? They you they 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 contacted these uh uh aliens through a channel a German psychic channeler uh Marie Orsic. She's very famous. You can look her up. She's around, but she was one of Hitler's uh close uh confidants not really confidant but like associates i guess rather um so the 1920s they she was channeling with these aliens from different you know uh i can't remember where they from they might have been presented reticuli but they're re reptilians and they're an ultra advanced race of evil reptilians who appeared friendly at first they're nice to the nazis they're giving the Nazis information about like stars, where they are. They're giving them new medicines. They're giving them anti gravity uh, crafts. They're giving them all types of shit. Um, but the the big thing that they want from the Nazis is we're gonna give you all this, but you gotta take over the world and implement our ideals. And the Nazis are are like, all right, bet, dude. Like we're losing the war. I'm down. Hitler was like, no problem. He's like, all right, cool. I'm down, bro. Give you some of this free alien technology. So they did. They took it. The aliens came down, the reptilians, to Antarctica because in Antarctica, underneath it are giant geothermal domes, essentially huge igloos that are miles wide, like size of states. It's, they're huge, they're giant. They're under Antarctica, that's a fact. You can look that up right now. It's just essentially giant igloos, and they're hot as hell down there because the ice keeps them insulated because it's so far under the ground, you know what I mean? Um, so pretty much reptilians come down there they give these Nazis UFOs, what we know as UFOs now today. They show them element 115, which is a supposed lost or fake element that wasn't uh, officially recognized until 2013 by some Russian scientists. Um, this is the supposedly anti-gravity um, uh, element that repels gravity and makes shit levitate and stuff. Do you know Bob Lazar is? Bob Lazar spoke about element 115. This is what he worked on. This is what he had, supposedly what he did. So the Nazis were originally given that from these a uh, evil reptilian race. Um, so pretty much they give them vehicles, which we know as UFOs or UAPs now. Um, and they're crazy. You know, we've all seen the Tic Tacs and stuff with the stuff with the Pentagon coming out. It's not a lie. Like, we've seen it. it it's there. It's yeah. real. Most people don't know that it is Element 115. And I do believe that to be a, a real thing. Um, but um, it... it, it it's very it's very interesting it's just it's just crazy to me um that people come up with this shit you know yeah but like i i i don't i don't believe a lot of that, this but it's fun. what you just we're, told me is fucking not true i believe no, in the we're, element we're, but that's about no, as much as i believe out of that we're whole story done. i'm sorry i had to say fucking I'm, christ I don't keep it going fucking, fucking shit. geothermal <laughs> okay. domes I, I, that's real. Yeah, that's actually I figured real. it is. But <laughs> um, reptiles yeah, I don't know being friends with the, millions, the Nazis. Well, there's, there's millions down there. They're wide. They're widespread. They're all under the ice. I believe in all this, by the way. Uh, this is where the shorts. Is this why so, everybody gets killed that goes to Antarctica? Yeah, dude. They're doing some horrible shit over there. Let me tell you. Some like clockwork, you know, fucking orange type shit over there. Prying your eyes open. Cutting your dick off. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but those reptilians, man, look the fuck out because you don't want to be around those, uh, man. I'm, I'm telling you. But they're secretly controlling the universe right under our noses. You don't even know. Paul, did you know you're not allowed to go to Antarctica? If you were to go to Antarctica right now and try to row your boat over there, they'd shoot you in the fucking head and leave your body to the fucking Who would, polar though? Pit. The, the UN, the people that guard it. There's still, there's people, there's troops and shit at Antarctica. Why like, do people not guard it? Why do they guard it, Paul? The UN deemed it uh, illegal to go there unless you're going there for research purposes, and then only then you have to be supervised by them. There is no aerial footage of them. There's no drones allowed over there. There's no planes allowed over there. If you go on Google Earth, there is nothing for Antarctica. Or so what the and fuck? Why is, going is that? On is it because there? it's too cold? Is it because it's dangerous? Why would because they be guards? There's reptilians 
under the ice Nazi reptilians that are controlling the world, and they're fucking us daily, Paul. They're poisoning the air, the water, the movies, the CIA, the government. It's all the aliens, man. You just wake up, open your fucking eyes a little bit. Open your third eye. Open your third eye. That's right. I'm above Majestic. I see it all. So in the 1930s, we sent some of our boys in there, Operation High Jump. We're like, yo. What the fuck's up? What's going on? We heard some Nazis in the ice. We don't play that shit. You know, we were all up in there. <laughs> and turns out there are Nazis in the ice. And uh, we came back. We were issued a gag order never to talk about it again. So we have no idea what they saw up there. <laughs> that, that's the gist of it. They're, they were put on a 48-hour debrief. They said, if you talk about it again, we'll throw you in the bridge or the brigade. And uh, that was the end of it. So uh, who knows? Who knows, man? One can speculate. Then later on in the 1940s, we had, I think, Project Iceworm go in there, and uh, they were not issued a gag order, but rather they told of Nazi uh, occupation there. Not 1930s, maybe 1925s. All right. Uh, well, considering nobody else appears to want to do it, Jack, let's uh, start a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe to get us all the equipment and the travel to Antarctica. So I'm talking like insulated snow gear, a drill, some weapons. Drone. Uh, well, no, like, they won't let us bring guns there. Pro like, guns outside of the country will be different, unless they're, like, in cases. Might be just like me with guns. melee weapons. Blunt objects, like... Okay, bring that what, keyblade? Should, should I bring that keyblade? Can I bring a claymore? If I can bring that. I don't know. Anyways, we need to do a GoFundMe, because it's, like, apparently if, like, nobody, no other rich billionaire wants to do it, fucking Gutterball will do it. We'll do a Kickstarter. Okay, yeah. guys, we're gonna need some nice snow boots. We're gonna need, a. Uh, somebody with a private plane to fly us there probably and get us in there. I, I'm I'm interested. I doubt Dude, it. Though. I'm more so. I, I don't believe night. like what's there. I'm just interested why they protect it like that. Mm -hmm. I don't get that. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's a place where like there's nothing. Well, there shouldn't be anything. You know, it's cold. That's what you think, buddy. There's water. But I've there's seen. Polar bears. I've seen it all. I can Is go on and on, man. Is, there polar is it our Antarctica is at the top, right? Or is that at the bottom? I thought they're yeah, I thought they were at both polars. I thought polar bears were just polar bears. They're at both polar ends, right? Isn't that a thing? That makes North sense. North and south. I think so. It sounds is right. Is Antarctica yeah. the top or the bottom? I don't remember. Bottom. South. What's at the top? North Pole. That's just what it's called. I think so. I don't know. It's fun. I don't know my geography. I could be wrong about this. See, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking. Paul, I just talked about aliens and Nazis on Antarctica. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, bro. You know, Antarctica. You never think about the one at the bottom. You never think about what's. Yeah, down there. you really don't. What's what the fuck is going on? You never think what's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, do you? Oh, you I want to know what's at the bottom. That's aliens. Scary. Yeah. Huh? What do you that's, like, well, Kyle that's on where they PKA? Have a base at. What do you where mean, he's talking dude? To, Kyle's talking Ooh. about the from PKA being there. The aliens are in the water, like they're in the trenches. They, and they shit. have been in the water for years, dog. They've been. Commander Fravor has been talking about it. They've been on the water. They rule the waters, man. You don't want to fuck with the aliens, dog. Um, I could talk about this on and on all day, but I just want to drop some knowledge on you. Again, all this is real, hundred percent fact so uh don't doubt it and just believe what i say all right because we're, we're trying to we're trying to build something here all right so just believe it and shut the fuck up and move on with your life so try to go to antarctica you can't you'll get killed but if you want to fund us we'll have a gofundme in the in the con in the description below no, we won't. so no, yes, we we will. Will. Well, we're going Antarctica. Gerbo it's like Antarctica. Our, our gofundme gets us it actually gets us money but not enough so like we're going there in a canoe it's so dangerous yeah. on the scene. Oh my we just God.